Well met lots and ladies, Jacob Butler speaking and a warm warm welcome to this week's Walking Wednesday. I've made a mistake. I've made a horrible mistake. I have just realized that a few seconds ago. I mean it made me stop in my tracks when I did. <laughs> yeah, there's uh there's an error that I made in the most recent video that I posted before this one. AKA the Danny Gonzalez My Dad is Rich Gotcha Club music video. And it's a pretty huge one. I mean, it's not noticeable, really, but it's there. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna do a re-edited version or not. I'll see how bad it is. I actually get back, but I have a feeling that it's pretty bad now. This is what happens when you edit super late. The reason I wanted that video to be out soon is because even though I don't do deadlines, the last time I did a Gat Danny Gonzalez video, it came out four days after the song was released, it did remarkably well. So I was I was going to uh, make sure that was the same. It was almost a year ago, actually. Now, I mean, as soon as we get into uh, yes, yeah, yeah, August, almost a year. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So um, I would have to think about that. It's pretty clear that it's pretty clear that I'm not going to forget about it. I'm not. Absolutely not. Oh well. Anyway, as for right now, we have Tilgate Park. Once again, this is the first time that I have come to this place deliberately, and uh, the reason I've come back here is because I wanted to talk about something that I discovered this week. <coughs> it's in relation to uh, into Dave Gorman's new YouTube channel. I say new because I discovered it only this week, but it's been around since April apparently. So yeah, in case anyone's wondering, uh, you know, Dave Gorman is, well I mean I've talked about him before, on my 496 video, you know the train wreck that that was, also back in April ironically, <laughs> no, no, that was in February, yeah. Anyway, never mind. So, uh, so Dave Gorman's officially a YouTuber now, of sorts. So, uh, because he's, um, he hasn't uploaded anything YouTube specific, if you know what I mean. He's done things, um, he's done things that are his stuff that he's aired on TV before. Specifically, Modern Life is Goodish, um, which is the program that, well, I mean, it's one of my favorites of his. I mean, it's right up there with Are You Dave Gorman and the Google Whack Adventure. Maybe even the astrology experiment. It's just all the Dave Gorman stuff, I think. There are so many things that he could upload. I mean, people have already uploaded versions of those, but the fact that he has an official YouTube channel now should be somewhere people could go for that, because beforehand, people were looking for his, his, um, his shows for years on YouTube until someone actually finally uploaded them. I mean, the Are You Dave Gorman one was from 2001. Google Back Adventure, I think, was 2002, 2003. So, really, it's uh, really something that you, uh, you should keep up. Well, I mean, you keep up uploading, I mean. Not necessarily go, go back to those programs, I'm not saying that. Although one thing you should go back to is Modern Life is Goodish, because season, well, series one is not uploaded on, uh, on his channel yet. We've got series two and three that are slowly getting consecutive uploads, but... He's, uh, he's not doing uh, not doing series one. I don't know if it's because he's, that's got a different licensing procedure or something, but that's the one thing I've been looking for on YouTube, the elusive series one, episode one. I want to know the moment that, we start, that he started proving that modern life is indeed goodish. Oh well, until that moment, I'm going to go back down the same path I came before and talk about the reason I came to Tilgate in the first place. It's again, Dave Gorman related, because I was watching an episode of Modern Life is Goodish. It was a series two one, I believe, and he was talking about the practice of dogging. And uh, if you don't know what dogging is, if you're over the age of 13, please feel free to look it up. If you're not, I suggest that you don't. I'm not going to go into what it is. I'm just going to say that Dave Gorman goes through a list of places where it is 
apparently common practice, according to certain newspapers, to do uh, carry out dogging in the spring. That being said, I'm, I, uh, well, I'm, it's a, it's a curious episode, I don't even know where I was going with that. Um, but, but, but the one thing that struck me out in that whole, uh, that whole um, list of articles that he found was the fact that among the list of places that he pointed out, Tilgate Park was one of them. Obviously, the dogging takes place at night. It's not spring anymore, so I wasn't hoping to find anything today. In fact, I hope to never find that for as long as I live on this earth. But in the meantime, in the meantime, I feel like it's interesting enough. The fact that it's all, it was fitting that I came here. I'm going to go down that path. Well, I was going to. I suppose I'll avoid it like last time. Reason being, that secret passageway that I came up last week was down there. So, my accidental arrival at Tilgate will also symbolize my intentional departure. So here we go. Down the hill. It's always, it's always perilous to go down hills like this, but I don't know, I've had enough practice in the way that I used to manage to like, incline my feet. I used to do that all the time in, uh, when I was part of a, a football team for a year. It was, uh, that was a strange phase that I went through. But yeah, I played in goal for a year on a football team in Spain. And they had this, uh, and they had stairs, but they also had a ramp. That you could, well, not a ramp, it was like a, well, sort of a ramp, sort of a banister. Pretty sure it's called La Rampa in Spanish, but yeah, anyway. They, so... So basically, it was just it was just like an it was just like a piece of concrete that you would hold onto, not like a metal, not like a metal banister that you would have on other makeshift stairs of the same nature. So you have those, and and I would just walk down them. I mean, it was almost completely flat, you know, on a steep incline, but kept me entertained. I mean, especially even before that, before I joined the team, and I was just what my brother was doing, and I was waiting for him to finish. That was a time I also remember. It was a significantly, significantly more boring time towards the end when he was when he was just getting ready to get back. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, got tissue here. I came prepared this week. Yeah. At least somewhat down here again. There we go. Surprise, surprise, I blocked that part out of my memory. So, in terms of actual news this week, um, apart from discovering Dave Gorman's channel and binging it, obviously also I had my, my uh, own YouTube event to take part in, well, or to celebrate, which was, whoop, which was, of course, the, which was the seven year anniversary. Oh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a good gesture altogether. Yep. And uh, to answer Be Beanie Boy's question in the live stream, do I feel old or happy? I'd say, I'd say both. <laughs> Because it is interesting now to consider myself both a YouTube amateur and a YouTube veteran. And I've got nowhere near any professional level. Actually, no, I am. I am near. You know what? I'll say that. I am near professional level because a thousand subscribers, plenty of to get monetization. I should be able to get the uh, the four thousand hour watch time. I should hope that that's not too difficult, or exceptionally so. So yeah, I'd say I am I am near. So there you go. I have got near. And uh really through the engagement of the actual stream, I'd well the three streams, given how makeshift they are, I'd say I'd say that's that's uh that's evident. I keep saying that I'm gonna do more and more live streams, I never end up doing them. I guess partly because 
much as I'm not used to them, but and I, and I keep I keep messing up crucial things on them. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some more of that. I want to do more Super Flat Survival, actually. That was a series I started not too long ago, and I actually want to carry on. I mean, I still have the world, so should be able to do so quite easily. Or maybe not because the Ternos decided to stop working recently. I've been told. I haven't used it in a, in a while. But apparently I've got some hosting issues. So who knows if Super Flat Survival is still is still a thing or not. Only time will tell. As for Skyblock Season 3, that's one thing I tried to start twice with separate people. But we never coincided. Well, I say that. Obviously Aiden coincided, but then there's, there was no chance of him not coinciding. Because he's always around. Except for those nine days of appearance, which was just a fluke. It happens. If I ever, if I, if I, people think I've disappeared, the clue will be if I don't upload a walking Wednesday. Unless I declare the series as cancelled, then, then that's gonna, that's gonna carry on. I mean, I'm almost at episode 63. I haven't got to episode 63 on anything, even Mario 63. That's something to wonder about. And again, I did try and get, revive the dead horses. Oh, I didn't do this week because again, anniversary. And also, Danny Gonzalez dropped a new song. And clearly I was in such a rush to, uh, to get on that bandwagon that, that I made that crucial mistake I talked about before. Who knows? Oh well. Seeking of projects, the, the prequel series that I was going to do, um, I'm just waiting on some, uh, on one of the actresses to resubmit her lines because she submitted them ages ago, but I lost them along with the uh, other ones. I really don't know what happened to those two files. They must have been together because I think they were done around the same time before all of the craziness started. And I've got to wonder when I actually wrote the script for that series. Oh well, I will keep up to date on that. Oh, this bandage just stopped making videos too. Which is a real shame. I don't like when people stop making videos because obviously, you know, given how much importance I give to YouTube, you know, how much I, uh, how much I value it as a, yeah, as a system and, you know, as a way of expressing oneself and as a social media in general, just the way that I view it, it's incredible. You know, broadcast yourself, why not? Why should everyone not broadcast themselves in a certain way? I mean, as long as you're over 13, obviously, because that's the, that's the rules, because of data collection and stuff, we were all, we were all made very aware of that. Oh well, I remember when, uh, that's the reason that Natasha stopped uploading videos. She thought she was going to get fined thousands of dollars because, you know, simply by existing on the website or whatever and making stuff that was for kids. I haven't been fined once. It's been a year now, or almost a year. I haven't been fined once. I mean, there is obviously the, uh, the... There's obviously the argument of, um, I don't know, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Well, you know, there is the, the reason I didn't pay because, um, they're not going to fine you but beyond what you're capable of paying, so you're not going to get, you're not going to get penalised too much. They say up to £4,200 or whatever it was, the 42000 It's whatever it is that they decide based on your economic situation. That was the idea. It's a real shame to see Natasha's channel go. Well, I mean, it's still there, but I've linked it every time I created her as a voice actress, but there's nothing there. It's almost like I've, I've linked nothing. And now, Naseeb is doing something kind of similar, which in a way I have to kind of respect and kind of uh, question at the same time. And the reason that is because she has now made her channel into just an animation channel. And I thought, I thought, okay, well, she's just going to keep doing her animation practice, which is what she wanted to do in the first place. 
For her, Gacha was more like a gateway into the actual art and animation and also a chance to engage the community and grow an audience, which she did quite she did quite smartly. What wasn't as smart was removing all Gacha videos and just focusing on animation. Because partly I can see why you would do that, because one way of really growing on YouTube is having consistent branding. That's partly why I've only just now recently gotten near professional level. <laughs> um, because obviously I do lots of things and try and experiment and see if I can actually get a following from them. And only recently, within the last year or so, I got a following that I... Well, I mean, obviously the Aphmau fandom too, but again, the Aphmau fandom is fleeting. If you've seen Aiden's new video, which if we don't, I recommend it, I get to give testimonials on why the Aphmau fandom is dying. Well, I among other people. But yeah, other than the Aphmau years, which I don't want to rely on, I now... I'm starting to see how I can make consistent branding and keep growing. Which is why I want to like weed out the, uh, the things that don't work anymore. Nasib found that much sooner than I did. You know, she was always, um, she was always very predominant, or pro very, uh, not very dominant, very prominent in Gacha. So that was her branding. That's the thing. That yes, you have a consistent branding, but you know, the branding that you had that was consistent, you've now removed. It's like what Afna just did. You know, her filler content has now become her regular content. Which in part has worked, but also alienates some people. And in the case of Naseeb, I reckon that a lot of people from the Gacha community, even though she's now friends with some people she used to beef with, oddly enough, are now, um, will now potentially lose interest. She's broken the number one rule that I, well, that I have on YouTube for myself. I'd say the, um, the unofficial rule books is rule number one, never delete your most popular video. And she's deleted several of her most popular videos. In fact, dare I say, all her most popular videos. I think the most popular video now that she has on her channel in the popular uploads page is, is, the, um, is one of the animation memes. Which is um, which has what 300 views or something? Compare that to I think it was around 20,000 that she had before on the uh, on it was either Kill the Queen or oh the yeah the the My Brother video. <laughs> and yeah, she's uh, she's missing out, especially because now is she gonna put stuff on on the uh, on the gacha on the gacha community server on the Little Media Discord server? Well, it even make sense anymore to do so. I mean, I guess they have a general art point, but that's it now. So she's restricted herself in an attempt to free herself up from something already. I do wonder about that. Something I'm thinking about, but also, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to carry on being a gacha, but Steve introduced me to gacha. I love gacha. I'm going to carry on. So, uh, and also, that video that I posted, I made that in a day. I mean, partly that's, again, the mistake that I made. But I managed, to, but so if I don't remove that, that's probably why. But just where I acknowledge the mistake, I know what it is. You'll know what it is when you see it. I know it's there. But, yeah, I made that in a day. And the reason I say that is because for the longest time, I thought that because of the style of gacha that I make, I'm not able to make them very quickly. Especially, you know, things that require voice actors. But now I see that there is a way to actually do it faster and not sacrifice, I guess, the little animation that is left in Gacha Club. And, uh, well, and also my editing, because I'm able to, I'm able to still green screen, you know, mimic flying, move the backgrounds, Use Vegas as well to you know, for enhance things. Have multiple layers of stuff. It's all still there. I just now have the ability to do it quicker, I guess. And yeah, that was still with um, with doing the screen captures. Although again, that video was like was less than two minutes, so that's probably why. 
It'll take a bit, a bit longer, but yeah, from going from wondering how Mimi was able to upload, upload like three gotcha videos in a day, suddenly now I realize, yeah, if you take a day out of your time to actually make some gotchas, yeah, you can do that. Maybe if you want to like have it something more polished, that's not, that's not the case. If you want to have like voicing and such, and use the I mean, put the audio and, and stuff, it might take a little bit longer. That's another two minutes. But yeah, it can happen fairly quickly. That's something to learn, actually. Oh well, I need to carry on. I'm running out of battery space, so I'll just say now, please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters. Thank you all for seven years and for joining me on the stream and watching the video that I made, which did take several days, actually. And on that note, until next time, farewell.